Hello guys, yeah, it's me I'm back here and today we will be doing an iPod Nano retrospective. So the first generation iPod Nano was released in 2005 and replaced the iPod Mini. Now what was the iPod Mini? The iPod Mini was a gener iPod that had two iterations that lasted for only two years. The only difference between them is the remove between second gen and first gen is the second gen a storage variant on it and it removed removed the yellow, yellow variant and it had a six gigabyte variant but iPod minis were meant to target a large audience but it was still like an iPod classic for it, it was still very thick and still had, and it was still using a regular hard drive as back then it was still cheaper to use regular hard drives than just flash storage. Eventually flash storage won though as we all know iPod minis sold like hotcakes and were very hard to keep and retailers had a hard time keeping them in stock and there are also many accessories you could buy such as the dock and the clip too which I have here. The first generation iPod Nano released in 2005 and replaced the iPod mini. Introduced the all new color display. Unfortunately, I removed all the fancy colors that you got. But as you can tell right here, works just fine. And also introduced the opportunity for photos. And you could even play some games on here too and have some extras too. If we go, go into the extra section here, get tons of cool extras. You can even play games too. The iPod Minis came with this too in the original. By the way, the Minis run the same software basically as the iPod Minis. That's it for the first gen Nano. And these also scratch very easily. So the so you did so people demanded a settlement check and the, there was finally a settlement check in 2010, but it was only for 37 bucks and 50 cents I believe I'm not sure about that the Nano second gens are basically the same as the first gen they didn't really introduce any new features and they had the same software they're also the last iPods to run this type of software but they didn't come with a few improvements such as new colors being red pink green blue silver which I have here in the white the design very much was more durable and very much resembled the mini as you can tell, unfortunately, both of these have white screens, so I'm going to need to fix these sometime. But they did have a few imp another improvement too, or improved storage, where the one gigabyte model was eliminated. The base model became two gigabytes, and then you got four gigs, which is the highest capacity for this model. And you also got the eight, and you also got an eight gig variant. Now, the third gen was very peculiar per se. What I mean by this is is it even though it was made out of pretty much the same materials as the first gen nano, it introduced a whole different design. Similar to the iPod Touch. It looks kind of like an iPod Classic if I hold it up close to the camera. But I did introduce the color flow feature if I go here. There's color flow, cover flow right here. And yes, this iPod came with all that music. So there is now with the iPod Nano fourth gen. I am not only one so I'll load that up on my iPhone 4 5S. If you tilt here, it came in all sorts of colors here, which are listed here. And also introduced an accelerometer and this iPod eliminated 2 gig mall, but still had the same other storage variants. But this one eliminated the 4 gig mall and introduced a 16 gig mall. Introduced a new design similar to the second, first and second gen nanos. And it also introduced an all. And also introduced all these colors. So yeah, it was pretty basic. For the time being, so now we're gonna move on to the fifth gen, which basically has a similar design to the fourth gen. 
By the way, if I'm showing a picture of the nails on my on my iPhone 5S, that means I do not own that. This one introduced a very cool feature called a video camera, and you also got radio with the iPod Nano 4th Gen 2. But you got a video camera, which is very cool for a time. And this is the last iPod to. This is the final iPod to have the quick wheel and this type of software. And this is the only iPod now to have a video camera, which is what makes it so cool. And this is also the final iPad to, iPod to have iPod now to have the click, the built-in extras feature. I mean, that most of these you did not get in the 6th gen, but you did get pretty cool. This was released in 2009, 2008 for the 4th gen. Basically, 2006 for, 2007 for the 3rd gen, 2006 for the 2nd gen, 2005 for the 1st gen, and I believe 2004 for the both of these. So you got a pretty cool design here. You also got a built-in microphone for recording videos, which also allowed to voice memos. And you also got a built-in pedometer. And you also got an accelerometer too, which made it possible for games like Maze. Had a built-in speaker too, which you could use for other stuff. Even though the older iPods have speakers, you can only use them for alarms. This iPod has terrible battery life, by the way. pretty much get it so this is the final iPod to be kind of special like this and you also got the same colors as the fourth gen and now we move on to the sixth gen nano which was a little bit of a unique iPod that you may remember because until here's a picture of it right here if I tilt it if I was over as until here's a picture of it with all the colors now it was more like a watch and at first it didn't get very many watch faces and it took away a lot of features too like the extras and the ability to watch movies and tv shows just removed a lot of features which is what ended up killing the ipod lineup and this released in 2010 by the way but i did introduce the touch screen and it had a clip too similar to the i this iPod Shuffle right here, which also released the same year. Which is what often used for watch bands. And you got clock faces too. So you could even set it to open on clock. So it was very weird. And then we've got the iPod Touch Nano, which is not, which is my nickname for it because it's very similar to an iPod Touch. This is the Nano 7 Gen. The first iteration, 2012, came in all these colors. And the 4th, 5th, and 6th gens came with all the same storage variants. And the 7th gen came with only 16 gigs. And as you can tell here, you got all these colors plus proc red too. I've always wanted one of these iPods, but I never got one. They're so expensive on eBay. Too overpriced on eBay, but as you can tell, you get the same touch screen interface, home button. You did get the ability to watch movies back. But he didn't get, but he still didn't get most of the extras back. And then there was a color re, color iteration in 2015 of all these colors. And then the Nano ended up getting discontinued in 2017. So, after all this time, what happened to the Nano? The answer is plain and simple. Modern smartphones, which you can now just listen to music on regularly, took over iPods. And sadly, iPods will never be the po as popular as they once were. But happily, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there's some more stuff you can do too. As soon as Twitter Twitter loads on my 5S, show you proof of my Twitter. I've got a Twitter right here at iTunes Fan YT. I promise you it's perfectly legit, not a fake account. And I've also got an Instagram too. Would you, have you checked my Twitter and Instagram lately? If not, go ahead and check them out. And if 
checking this is my Instagram profile. It's not updated. So I haven't been on this phone in a while, but it has not updated. I also got two other YouTube channels, two which I will show if my iPhone 5S can load up. Well, their names are, my channel names are, other channel names are Theodore Magger and Fanblogs and Films and Productions. So I guess that'll be it for this video. Don't forget to like to help rank my videos higher. And also don't forget to subscribe to help my channel. I'm trying to reach 104 Thanksgiving. So don't forget to share too. And I guess that's peace out.